Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included. And since the last episode, I've done quite a few things, mainly kind of boring stuff. So I've prepared a lot of piping and prepared a lot of areas for this episode so that I can just quickly build the stuff I wanted to build without you watching dupes build pipes for, for a long time. So I was unhappy with this Oxygen setup here. It is kind of working. But I kind of want to build it over in the cold area, so I've kind of set up an area here that I'm going to build it out at. And I've laid some pipe that's going to deliver cold oxygen to the base eventually. And then I'll probably rip all this out. So that's one project I want to do this episode. I want to continue making uh, steel here. And I'll be doing that with the cold polluted water that, I, uh, that I'm bringing over. It's coming over at 30, oh, 20 degrees. It's coming out of the geyser at 30, but then it's in a cold area, so that's coming over. Goes into the refinery, comes out at uh, 58 or so. And I built a pinch of pepper nut farm here. I figured if I'm going to get hot polluted water out of here, I might as well put it to some good use. So I've put pinch peppers in here. I just realized that the hydrogen is collecting in here, so i got to take these out. But I'm going to put more, more of those in. Because I, uh, I got the water and I got the space. So we'll do that. And the reason I did double is because I'm only using insulated uh, igneous rock, which isn't the best insulator. And I want this area to stay nice and warm. So hopefully that hydrogen kind of leaks its way out and gets stuck up there. Uh, I also built some pipe uh, down this way. Where am I? Down here. This water geyser that's actually starting to overflow. Um... I put in some water storage liquid reservoirs, and I'm a little bit worried these are not working, are not insulated anymore. I'm not 100% sure, but it could just be the heat from this geyser that's heating everything up. This area's getting really hot, though. So I laid out a pipe uh, coming up this way, and it is insulated, but it is kind of giving off some heat along the way. Now, if you put insulated pipe in an insulated tile, I think I'll get kind of the double bonus of insulation. I hope. That's the idea. I missed a tile here. So I'm trying to, I'm going to be using this hot water to make oxygen instead of my cold. Uh, I was taking cold polluted water here from this geyser. No sense using this cold water to make oxygen. I'd rather use hot water and then use the cold water for like metal refinery and other stuff where we need cooling speed things up here. I did take on a few more dupes, so we're at 15. Uh, there is another dupe available. I think I'm going to go to 16, and then we'll take a break from taking on dupes. Uh, dig. Can't dig. I don't like that. I don't like that. This is okay. Ellie's okay. Bring her on. And I've been promoting all the dupes through all the jobs, trying to get Exosuit Engineer as quickly as possible so they can move around faster. So in that, with that said, I'll put Ellie down here. And I think everyone else is, yep, looking good. Clear that off so I know what's going on. These puffs got in here and it's not very good, but they'll probably just starve to death. So I am going to get this oxygen set up here done. Actually, I don't want that. I want a pump. Build two pumps here. Now this is tungsten. And tungsten has a really good thermal conductivity of 60. There's a metal that's even better, but we don't get it until we get into space. So there's that. Um, so two pumps for each electrolyzer. I'm going to build a similar setup to what I had before, where I use a gas filter. I know some of you express concerns about the gas filter, but uh, I'm going to use it. It wastes a little bit of energy, but uh, I think it'll be okay. I'm going to use heavy watt wire in here, I think, just because it's... the dupes. Are, once this is set up, the dupes aren't going to go in here anymore. So we'll do that. This should be a sealed room. So I think it's safe to actually seal that off. This ladder is... Un, we can't deconstruct this ladder, so it's kind of in the way. Usually I, I would fill this little room with hydrogen, and we still might put a cap on it or something. But I'm going to put another... Am I out of tungsten? No, I got a little bit of tungsten left. Let's put that there. And to kickstart this whole thing, I'm going to use this coal generator over here. But right now it is actually powering this pump. 
So what I might have to do... Okay, I'll put a heavy watt wire kind of along here. And that has really bad decor, I know. So that'll hook up into there, and then maybe I'll do a transformer off uh, this main heavy watt wire just for this little bit here. Now there's a pump up here that I'm not using. I was taking hydrogen out of there, but I think I'll just disconnect that for now. It doesn't need to actually go ahead. It doesn't need to be used. I should probably extend my floor along here. Let's use granite. We do got stuff melting in here. Once this area is, gets cooled down, it will be less of an issue. I really need to mop all this up though. Mop from the top down. <laughs> Otherwise, your dupes will just continue to mop down below. Get that. Most of it's going to freeze solid, but let's just get it mopped up now. Oh, there's a lot in there. Oh, there's too much in there. That'll freeze though. Hopefully this doesn't get underwater. So heavy watt wire. Uh, let's hook that up all the way. That's going to come over here. I want this room to be sealed at some point. But not just yet. Okay, I think it's safe to take this out. We'll put heavy watt wire across. Actually, let me plan out my other... My other gas pumps here. I'm going to duplicate this up so there's four pumps and two electrolyzers. But I don't think I'll hook them up right away. We'll see. Electrolyzer, gold, yep. Yeah. And I'll just put a, I'll put a door in there so it's sealed, but not 100% sealed. So that we have to ever go back in there. Okay, actually I need to do my heavy watt wire. I will take this out and do a joint plate. Heavy watt joint plate right here. And then a airlock. Yeah, that should work. We could use a powered one, but like I said, they're not going to be going in there much. All this water is falling in here. I think it'll freeze though. Once this nullifier is up and running, I have a feeling this water here is draining out. This is all melting. Okay, that's going. Uh, we need the fresh water that came up from the hot geyser. We gotta plug that in. So I'll do a bridge across here. And then more insulated igneous rock pipe to come across through here and a bridge and then we'll just branch off we'll go in here now I can nick this I'm not going to use this anymore in fact I'm not going to sieve any of this so we'll just take all this out and we can take the sieve out so this is usually how I do my builds, uh, because I like I like having the cooling of the nullifiers. It's like the equivalent of, I think, eight Weezworts. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's equivalent to a lot of Weezworts. So we got to hook that power up, take this out, take all this power out. In fact, this whole line can come out. Oh, they're not going to be able to get in there, so I'll just leave that. Maybe what wire into here. I do have lots of projects planned this episode. Hopefully I can get to them all. This will come out. What I'll probably do is a transformer just for this line here. I'll use the, the better transformer just because I like them. <laughs> so we'll do that. Oh no, we don't use our steel. Use iron. And heavy watt wire, which actually can go over ladders. And then a regular crappy wire up and along here. Just to get that pump going again. 
And let's up the priority, even though we got idle dupes. Okay, so we got fresh water coming in. Now we gotta do the piping. I'm gonna put my filter in first, so filter something like this. Yeah, I think uh, probably like that. Now these internal pipes, they don't need to be insulated, so we'll just go like this. We'll merge these pipes, we'll go into here, and the hydrogen coming out will stick into a hydrogen generator right over here. I might as well put it all over to the corner here. And that has to hook up to our main heavy watt wire grid, so I should actually do a joint plate right here. If you watched my previous play playthroughs, you've seen this build before. It's pretty standard. It's pretty pretty straightforward. Actually, I don't want the air to get out, so let's quickly put that in. Heavy watt joint plate, priority nine. Can I stick that there? Yeah, that's all good. We'll select hydrogen as our output on the filter, and then that'll go here and everything else will be oxygen and for in here we can use just granite because um, it's okay if it gets cold we actually want it to get cold and what I'll do is come along here and I think I'll join in here take this out that needs power, so let's do heavy watt wire. So the coal is just to cook, kick it off. I also need to send a pipe of hydrogen into the nullifier, so let's do that. Like that. And we won't we won't hook a smart battery up to this, because I'll just let it burn up all the hydrogen it can. That way it won't get stuck. We could do something a little bit smarter and any extra hydrogen we could deal with, but I think for now I'll just let it, let it burn off. Hook that in. Okay, that looks good. Look at all these idle dupes. <laughs> I hate idle dupes. Actually, let's get some some other digs going. Let's see, where, I wanna keep digging out the slime. Where can we strip mine some slime? Uh, let's get some of this slime. That'll give them something to do. I have a plan for this area too. I kind of prepped it. I'm going to do my oil refinerying, refinerying, <laughs> refining in here. Actually, that reminds me. There is a new Robo Miner and I'm actually going to use it for, for once just to see how it works. Now it has to be kind of near the top here. It's not gonna work, I don't think. So we'll do it upside down. I'm gonna try to stick it right there and see how that all goes. But it needs power, so let's, I had a power line all ready to go. See, I'm all prepared this time. But we need to dig a little bit of this so they can get in there. I think that'll work. And that thing should just automatically mine out a big section for us. So we'll let them work on that. Uh, oh, I need some oil for a, a lock in here. So I'll select oil, crude oil. Uh, enable auto bottle. Priority seven, copy those settings. I'm using oil because if it ever gets too hot, the water can boil off. So I want to see this thing in action. I've never used one of these, except in uh, Unreachable Dig. Oh no, steel. No. What did I make these out of? We do not want steel. We want uh, iron. Turn that upside down. That should be good like that. Okay, new dupes are available, but 
I'm not taking on any more dupes. Ooh. Too many musics. Okay, we'll come back to this in a second. Actually, I, I kind of want to see it work. Let's just wait till it's finished. Two more pieces. Oh, that's priority nine. Uh huh. Oh, did I not put the power line all the way? No. Oops. There they go. I want to see this thing work. I don't think it's very fast, but at least it's automated. There we go. No power. Is this not connected to anything? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should uh, attach it to a coal generator. That would be smart. Okay, coal generator. I'll stick one right here. And... Let's just build a proper floor here. That'll also take out that coal at the same time, and then we'll put a smart battery. Not out of steel. I hope I haven't built anything out of steel. And then the wire. Just like that. Okay, we'll let them build that, and then I want to see how this is going up here. Okay, I got CO2 going through there. That's okay. Hydrogen, and then this line doesn't go anywhere yet. So let's disconnect this and reuse that and send this. It's okay if it's cool now, so we'll just use granite pip piping. So that'll be one line. I'm going to let it kind of cycle through until we clear this room of all CO2 and other stuff. In fact, I think it's pretty clear now, but there's some CO2 in the line. I don't want that going to the exosuit dock, so... Okay, this starts this will all turn to ice eventually that's looking good we're getting power I should probably hook up the second one because we're gonna need it so heavy watt wire whoa like that and we need water going in there insulated pipe I'm gonna hmm yeah, branch backwards. Because if I do it off this thing, I don't know if I'll get a 50-50 split. I think I should, but... So that's working. Now we just need our piping. This filter is going to be in the way. <laughs> I guess I didn't really think that through fully. I should have gone up one. Hmm. I kind of wanted everything to be symmetrical. Uh, let's just build a filter on its side, though. Is that what I want? I don't think I want that. Mm. <laughs> Decision. Okay. <laughs> We'll just uh, we'll put it on its side for now. I might fix it later. Something like this, and then regular gas pipe. These will merge together like this, and then hydrogen. I'll have to wrap around somehow. I'll have to do a bridge here. I think. that and then we'll select hydrogen as the output it looks like hydrogen gets pre-selected but it actually doesn't if you want wire through here mm -hmm. I think I need to do a bridge along here Kind of like this. Uh, so this will go this way. Uh, hmm. The 
this is really ugly, but that will technically work if I do that. In, in, these two outs come into here. But we also need 50% to go there, or some of it to go there. I think that'll work. When you're trying to merge two pipes, uh, you can use two bridges like this. That is technically working. And then we need everything else, which is going to be oxygen. I'll use a granite pipe until... Oh, let's just use insulated. Igneous. That's going to go this way, down into this pipe. It's quite a bit of work, but once you get it set up, you kind of set it and forget it. No gas output, that's okay. It'll have an output in a second. My experience with this setup is that it stays cool forever. This nullifier is enough to cool all this and this. I don't know if one hydrogen generator is going to be enough to consume it all though. Might need a second one. I'll build a second one just in case. We should be able to tell though, based on this, based on how much oxygen and hydrogen come out of this, we get 112 grams per second. We got two of them, so 224. And what does this thing consume? 100. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need another one. This will eat some of it, but. Let's put a second one up here. I kind of want it closer to the cooling area, but I think I'll just stick it here. Get that heavy watt wire up there somehow. I think if I bring it around here, it'll be safe. We'll lose a bit of the bisolite. Oh, we're gonna cross, cross things there. That's no good. Let's get rid of that. Do a bridge here. Didn't want to spend the whole episode doing this. Okay, heavy watt wire up and around. I could have used a joint plate, but. And then we want the hydrogen to go up there as well. I was using it insulated. So that'll branch off right here up to there. Okay. Then things shouldn't back up. We could even send extra, extra hydrogen up here to this one, just to cool all this off. But I was thinking of duplicating this whole system like this up here, because this will cool all the machinery for kind of a second, a duplicate of this. Let's get that built. Okay, our polluted water should still be coming over. It's good. And the second, the second line, oh, in, out. Should be all good. What's, what's it blocking on? Oh yeah, it doesn't go anywhere. Huh. So that'll go there. And the other one, for now, I'll do is let's see here insulated till about here. Now I'm just gonna vent it all out right here until we've cleared the line. Actually there shouldn't be any actually there shouldn't be any other stuff in there now. It should be all good. So we gotta send some down to the exosuits. So what I'll do is wrap around this way. Send that in there. And then nick this and dismantle all this I think it's safe to take out take those pumps out take these electrolyzers out filters gone all the piping 
that should be okay. And then this will go. Hydrogen generator. Actually, I should, probably should have consumed... I'll consume the hydrogen first. Just clear out this room. Make this all priority six. That's oh, priority nine, okay. <laughs> and let's turn this gate off. The printing pod, uh, disable that. We're good with 16 dupes. We got 16 mess tables, we got 16 beds. So this base is, it's full. People were asking me about morale. How do I get morale so high? You can see kind of what we're getting here. Potato is getting one for being a duplicate, one for a two shift break, one for the barracks, 16 for superb, superb meal, six for great hall. The great hall is probably the easiest thing to build to get uh, morale. Washroom two, shower plus three. And they only need 20, so they're all, they're all meeting their requirements except Ari isn't yet. Well, he is, but if they don't get good food, they might have a poor morale for a little while. Let's finish off this pinch pepper farm. And I'll probably keep filling those in until we're consuming all the hot water out of the metal refinery. How much iron do we have now? Oh, not much. It's because the pipe is blocked. Farm plot inoperable. Oh yeah, I don't have the water going in there yet. So let's do that. I'll just get it ready to go all the way out to here. Flip those upside down. Actually, I can't even see what I'm doing with that overlay on. Food. Oh, I forgot to look at the auto miner. <laughs> Let's go see if it did its job. Where was it? Oh, here it was. <laughs> yeah, it worked. <laughs> we didn't get to see it in action, though. Uh, maybe I'll move it over a bit so we can see another dig. Lots of germs in there. One thing that I did off camera was sealed this wall here. Like I made it so that if they're gonna go out this way, they have to use their exosuits. So they have access to this without an exosuit, but if they wanna go out of the base to the bottom, they have to go through here. And I was doing that uh, just so they wouldn't get up here into this area. I'm using the gas uh, reservoir here to store a bit of natural gas coming out of here. And we're actually not using our natural gas now. Very, very heavily. I changed the automation in here a little bit so that coal gets used only if the power gets really drained. Natural gas is kind of the, not the first thing used, uh, but it should be actually because we're no longer be going to be using hydrogen power here. I'll chew through all this hydrogen and then we'll dismantle this area. Don't really need it anymore. Okay, so I want to do oil as well during this episode, get that set up. I really want to see this Robo Miner work, so uh, where should I put it? Where should I stick it? I could stick it in here, but I don't have any power over there. I'll put it right here, because I want to mine all this out. So that was under shipping, Robo Miner. Let's try that. I think that will work. It will need power. And this time I'm, I promise we'll watch it. <laughs> it won't take them long to build that. Oh, they left one little piece. There we go. There it goes. Now it's slime, so it's going to go pretty fast. But 
that's pretty cool. And it's really cheap power. It's only 120 watts, so it's a could do a lot of mining with that thing. We'll just let that work away. And I want to get this all built out. So we got to get oil in here, and to get oil in there, I need a pitch a pump down here just for oil. Stick that right. Let's use igneous rock since it should be here. I gotta move my pump down as well. Strip mine all this out. Looks pretty good. Put this thermal barrier in here because this is all like super hot in here. Didn't want that getting in here. Damage overheating. Okay. What did I make that out of? Igneous rock. Uh, let's try that again. Actually, what can we use? That's not gonna melt. Hmm. I used to use... Well, this could be actually a problem. These all overheat at 75 degrees. Or 85, 90, 90. Well, that's not good, because this stuff's too hot. How hot is this? 106. We have some in here that's 68. How am I going to get the... Well, I could pump it up. Actually, I gotta, I gotta bring the oil up anyway. Yeah, we'll just pump it into the. But uh, well, we'll use a valve just to control the amount going in. So insulated pipe up to here, maybe. Then a liquid valve. And another insulated pipe. This will heat up actually, so it's probably not the best thing. But we'll put a little lip or a little vent here. And we'll fill up our. Oh, they found some oil. I think there was some oil uh, mopped up over here before. That's probably where they got that little driblet of oil. But for now, let's uh, set it to, I don't know. We want to fill it with 999 kilograms. I'll set it to 500. Here it comes. Oh, and I haven't been looking at my jobs in a while. Lots of promotions. Soup. Uh, Sydney. Sydney. Reggie. Ellie. Uh, yep. Everyone else is good to go. Okay, so let's plan out this room here. I use a granite floor. I want it to be four high. Try to draw a straight line. I'll leave room for expansion. And let's do a under refinement, oil refinery. I'll leave some room by the door just so they can, I might want to put cooling or decor. Let's get rid of this robo miner, it's all done. And I always leave room for two, but then I never end up using two. Here comes the oil. I'll probably forget about it and it'll spill over. I think we can speed this up. 10 kilograms per second. Uh, there we go. That's pouring in. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on this. I don't want it to over. We'll wait till it gets to 9.99, and then we we'll probably want 500 kilograms on this top tile, and then we can stop it. Okay, where's it going? Where's the oil going? I guess it's falling to the edges there. 
869. That's probably enough, actually. We'll do a little bit more. If it spills to the left, it's okay. It's just going to fall back down. That's probably good. Let's turn that off. Remove that vent. So I'll leave I'll leave room for another one in here. Well refinery. With some some room for cooling and stuff. Room for growth. But I won't actually build it yet. I'll just I need to seal this roof off. Let's do that. Uh, if we do that, that'll be okay. Yeah, let's do this. Well, they can't build up there anyway. Let's just seal this part. That'll be fine. Lots of stinky air in here. I might as well clean that up. Now I'll do plastic in here as well, I think. But this room will fill with natural gas, so we want to have a pump to be able to get that out. It's going to get super hot in here, so we need cooling. What I usually do is I dribble some water on the floor. So I'll do a little lip here. And then we'll do a... We'll do a ice sculpture in here and just get some water on the floor. And we're eventually going to bring that oil in, so let me get that pipe most of the way there, but not all the way. That looks good. Now in the past, uh, I put the petroleum in an abyssalite tank and none of the heat got out, but we can't do that anymore. So we might have to do something a little bit different. Maybe use double insulated walls or something. Because the petroleum comes out at 75 degrees, which is a little bit hot. We don't want that kind of melting the base. And we're going to need power in here. Quite a bit of power. What does this thing take? Uh, it takes 480 watts. Quite a bit of power. What I probably should do is use my natural gas power up from here. Bring a line down. Two kilowatt line. That would make the best sense, I think. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I probably should have did an offset floor here, but just to fit more transformers in. Yeah, I think I'll do this like this, but we'll turn it around. Do heavy watt wire. I guess right across. Actually, probably going to put a petroleum generator in here eventually, so we'll try that. Oops. Oh, oh my gosh. Like that. And then we'll take a two kilowatt wire down this way. Not not out of steel. That'll go down here this way. And then down to our new room. Oh, we got a bunch of power on the way here. We'll get we'll get part of it built. I'll need to move some stuff around here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to move some stuff around. And they're gonna need a ladder to build that. some scaffolding in there. That's all priority nine. No, not really. More like seven. Nines for emergencies. Let me just see how this oxygen is going up here. Beautiful. Two lines of cold oxygen. 12 degrees, four degrees. It's all flowing nicely. That's getting cold. I think I am going to send some of this hydrogen up to this other one and just keep this whole area nice and freaking cold. Yep, 
Yeah, that'll help. I like. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it would. That room's sealed. That's good. Now, ideally, you would use more pumps than... Like, to keep the electrolyzer kind of not stalling out, I think you can use as many as seven pumps, but I'm just going to use two, because that's usually what I do. And we got pipe blocked here. I think that's because I'm not really sending it anywhere. It's going that way. It's going to the exosuits. Oh, we got some crap in here. What is this? What's inside here? Polluted oxygen. We will get rid of that. And rebuild it. Because we don't... We don't want polluted oxygen in here. Make sure there's none, no other polluted oxygen. No, and it's safe to hook this up too, so. Just use regular. That's good. Take this line out, take that line out, take that out. And is this getting used or what? That hooks up to take all this power out here. That hooks up to the coal generator and that's it. So this should actually slowly eat up that hydrogen. And this one is hooked up to all of that. And the natural gas. The natural gas might just keep it busy all the time. But it'll eventually get used. Pressure looks good. Now, I did do a little bit up in space. Oh, let me copy these settings. And let's make some steel continuous. Now that we have some iron, but not a whole lot. So up in space, I did a little bit more building. I went up and I kind of put the roof on and I put a little side door here. Not door, but side wall so that meteorites coming from the side didn't destroy sh stuff. And we got jobs mastered, I think. Uh, nope. Okay. So what I need to do for space is put a... First of all, a space scanner. Now, that doesn't need to be exposed to the sky. Which seems kind of weird, but... It doesn't need to actually open. I think the accuracy goes up, but what I'll do, unless they fixed it, so what I'll do is I'll just build a kind of floor for it here. I'll use insulated tile because I'm a little bit worried the heat will kind of transmit. And we'll do one of these. These are actually really cheap to build. They're only 25 metal. And I'm going to make it out of steel just so it doesn't melt if it gets too hot around here from all these things falling down. And I did dig a little bit to the left. And here, we sa we found some of these shovels and they're getting damaged. You can see them moving around if you put the heat overlay on. They're digging through the rock. It's pretty, pretty cool to watch. So they're in there. They're doing their job. This one didn't make it. <laughs> uh, there is some free metal up here I should probably get. But I don't want to dig down too far, because this abyssalite layer is slowly getting destroyed, which I don't want. Priority 9, yeah, okay. Is this door accessible? No, we got to let them out there. And I'm letting them go out here without exosuits, which is kind of funny. Uh, I don't think they can get down here anymore. This is all kind of filled in since I dug out here. And amazingly enough, this was, has been enough to block these ladders from being destroyed this whole time. But this is going to need power, so I might do some coal power down in the... down here. Let's just chuck in some coal power. Uh, gold amalgam. Smart battery. I'll just use a regular wire. Not priority nine really, but let's use let's use iron. 
And that'll go up there. And hopefully no meteorites get sneak through. If not, I can just extend this. But in addition to this, we're going to need a telescope for research. Which I think is under stations. Here it is. Now this actually does need uh, visibility into the sky. So we'll have to put a blast door and we'll have to open it kind of during the day. Actually, I don't know if it needs light. I'll do some more insulated tile over here. Watch, I think they're gonna get stuck here if I do this. Let's dig this out just in case. So over to the left here, I think what I'll do where the light can get through, I will build my telescope right here. And then we'll take the automation from this and we'll put a blast door right above it. I won't build the blast door at the top here. And I, I'll eventually extend this steel all the way along the very top, I think. Because I probably won't use solar pa uh, panels. I don't really like them. Too much maintenance. But the amount of regolith that's collecting is way, way less than it used to be. So I'm pretty happy about that. The reason I built one at a time here is so they don't build their head into the wall, which they tend to do. Okay, let's check out that light again. So we'll do a blast door, bunker, bunker door, right above here. That'll work. And then we'll put the telescope in here. Oh, it's like super high. Okay, never mind. Let's put the telescope in first. So I know what I'm doing here. Gold. Bunker door. Right here. And I might put some bunker tile on either side just to protect this thing. Let's get the ladder over there. Uh, how am I going to do this? Let's just do this. Bunker tile. Actually, that's kind of redundant. Because that's already covered. But if a thing comes in from the side, it could hit. So maybe I'll put a ladder here. Let's use igneous rock. Sure. Actually, granite's probably better. Granite's probably closer. Okay, granite. Like this. Oh, meteors coming in. And they didn't actually build anything yet. Oh, crap. <laughs> Just my luck. It's gonna get... It's gonna get pulverized. Unless they can build it really fast. Let's try to get it done. Put some bunker tiles in there, too. Protect the telescope. Nothing yet. Come on, guys, you can do it. Now, it's going to take a while to get enough steel to build a rocket. <laughs> but that's okay, because we got to do all this research first. Let's get some power over there. It's iron. Okay, it's been going off for a while. No meteorites yet. Scan quality zero. Scan network quality zero. That's because it's covered. But I think it still kind of works. It's just really inaccurate in terms of the timing. Look at this guy. What is he doing? <laughs> Let's do nine here too. Okay, that was a false positive. Nothing actually came in. Maybe it does need access to the sky. Hmm. Now there's an issue with this telescope as well. If they if they stay in the if they stay in the uh, light too long, they get a sunburn. So we got to put a little timer on there so that they don't 
fry themselves. But first we have to build it out a little bit more. I think I'll do a little bit more bunk bunker tile just to protect the sides. And I'm going to run out of steel pretty soon. But I might actually get them up here to build this, extend this out. So we'll do some ladders that way. Some bunker tile this way. And I'll just continue on as we have steel. But I also need... Oh, uh oh suffocating. Hmm. Look what they've done. They're good at that. Get out of there, you sillies. Get out of there. Let's try that again. They like to... They like to hurt themselves. Okay, how's our coal? Did I ever hook that up? 100% party 7. Automation, so we don't waste coal. There's not much oxygen in here for them anymore. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something just absolutely crazy. I'm gonna put a deoxidizer in here. Why not? We got power. That will fill up in here. Let's get some oxygen. Let's clean the air as well. Pop this out. Okay, do they finish that? Yes. Now we need oxygen up here. Actually, I'm gonna have to use this. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to send oxygen all the way from the bottom up there. Probably just generate it. In fact, I should generate generate it in a little room. Using algae, I think, is fine. Should probably seal this room up. Let's try that. But build that first so they don't get trapped. Put an airlock here. It's all coming together. Then we'll vent this room out so we get a vacuum. And then we'll make oxygen in there and then we'll send that up to the observatory. Telescope. That up. Send a pipe out here. Oops. Oops. <laughs> like so. Let's put a tile here. A little makeshift room. Very organic looking. not get up there. Okay, let's just build two tiles here and here. So that's not going to work. Let's dig this first. I think that would work just like that, but let's put a tile there. LG oxidizer, priority eight. Let's mop that up. Okay, and we gotta get this polluted oxygen out of there because it'll just vent. So sweet priority nine, we'll get that bottle. Okay, where's this? Someone will mop this up eventually. Anyone? Anyone? Dealer? Maybe I did a too low priority. Maybe it's stuck in the door. I don't know. 
even though this is sealed, I'm going to put a tile here. There we go. Mopped up now. Now we sweep it. And that should create a vacuum. And then we can send pure oxygen up here. Let's pre-build the pipe. We won't connect it yet. Regular gas pipe should be fine. Let's use granite since we've got lots of granite around. Looking good. Now can they get up here? Yeah. We got we got a bit of steel left. That's good. And then we're gonna decide where we're gonna put our, our rocket base. Maybe right here. Because it kinda comes down here and there's outer space here. And I like having my rockets in space because when all the heat from the rocket gets blasted out, it uh, it can just vent into space. If you build it indoors, then it's a nightmare to cool. And I want to use this building as well, but it's starting to get really hot. That's kind of why I'm building this steel wall at the top. Okay, let's continue that. In fact, I should just do a floor underneath it instead of all, the, instead of all these ladders. Like that. There we go. Lots of promotions to do. I've been hearing the music go here. Oh, say Captain G. Has Captain G been an exosuit engineer already? Captain G, you need courier first. Okay. Justin will move over. Ultimate will move over. If we can. No, can't do it yet. Oh, Captain G's been here already. Oh, wait. What just happened? I thought I put Captain G here. Where did he go? Oh, there. He's there. Never mind. Oh, he's already been there. Okay. Captain. This is part of the game I don't like. <laughs> As you can probably tell. Ultimate needs... Mastery of courier job. What? He is. What am I missing here? Ultimate. I think he needs something else. That's weird. Mastery of the courier. Maybe he's like not quite 100%. No, it says he is. I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Okay, we'll just leave it for a few more cycles or something. I should clear the hydrogen out of here because these plants can't grow. Okay, now they can breathe when they come up here. That's good. I guess we'll never get a true vacuum in here because they're going to go in and out of this door. Let me just seal that. So they can't go in or out. And that should vent out eventually. I could put a filter on it. So we ensure that we get pure oxygen. And then they could get busy on that. Now I need power for this door. So let's hook that up. I'm just going to build a regular old floor along here. Maybe a few bunker tiles, just in case. And then power up there to the door. Hook that all in. Okay, it says a meter shower is coming in. And it isn't yet. I think it will. Hmm. Anyway, we'll let them kind of work away on that. Hopefully they don't die. <laughs> and I wanted to finish my oil stuff. Or at least get it somewhat ready. So it's pretty much hooked up. Uh, we got oil. We just have to send the petroleum somewhere. And that's what I was talking about earlier. It gets pretty darn hot. I'm going to try to use a 
liquid reservoir. Maybe. Hmm. I mean, we have to send it somewhere eventually. Maybe I'll build a tank over here for, for petroleum. Mm-hmm. Let's use a good old robo miner for that, since it's going to do a very quick job of digging it all out. Is that what I want to do? That's probably overkill. Let's just use dupes for this. Uh, I'm going to do a double insulated wall. So that the petroleum doesn't all get out. Yeah, I guess I'll do it like this. Then we'll do a double wall. Dig in here. Put some ladders in. So that'll be our storage tank. We'll have to completely insulate it on all sides or that 75 degree temperature will just all get out. But some of it we're gonna send directly to a plastic maker. Sweet. The reason we're doing this is for plastic, pretty much. We can use it for petroleum power too, but mainly it's for plastic so we can do some plasticky things. Let's put our ice block in here. That'll put some water on the ground. Let's put a proper floor in here. I'm gonna need a ladder here too for the double tank. So that's gonna be two walls that way. So excess petroleum will go in here. Some petroleum will go to the plastic. Some petroleum will go up to the petroleum generator, which we don't need yet. And the plastic maker, same idea. I'll put a little lip. Let's put that in utilities, I think. I think this episode's getting really long. I forgot to look at the time before I started. And I don't actually have a timing thing on my computer right now. So refinement, uh, polymer press, I'll stick right here. Then a lip, so we can put water on the ground. And I'll finish this off next episode. So we'll get into the petroleum age. Off, off camera, what I'll do is continue to build out this top part. This, uh, this part here. Just build this wall out. Extend it in either direction. Maybe not above this, so that we can get light through, but... And we'll start to collect research so we can get rockets and then maybe, maybe next episode I'll get to rockets. Maybe. I think this research is going to take a while, so. But I'll do that off camera. I mean, I'll hook it up next episode. Well, maybe we'll start getting, re getting research off camera. It's pretty much ready to go. Oh, we got a vacuum. Let's quickly hook that up. That'll go there. And there and just before we finish I will do a clock sensor that will be connected to this that way they're not doing the research all the time and I pr should probably hook it up to the door as well so that they only come here when the door is open and they and they don't stay too long I think that's what I'm thinking Make sure the base is still good. Yeah. Pressure's good. Stress is good. Room bonuses are good. It's all good. This is not clearing out. I'll have to... <laughs> Maybe I'll just burn it off. Take the, take the logic off and just burn it off. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you guys next time.